we're talking about here mathematical tools, right? That are designed to, to, to help us understand human development, societal changes, and the way, let's say, each one affects the other and also the natural ecosystem. So they are mathematical tools. As such, they are somehow, let's say, simplifications of reality, because if they are not simplifications, they would be reality themselves. So the idea here is try to, to, to capture all the complexity of the earth system, of society, future uh, socioeconomic development. So basically these are very complex tools. We're talking about, let's say, uh, sometimes you can run a model that's gonna take days for you to, to find a final result. But as of today, these are the best tools we have to deal with, as I said, socioeconomic development, uh, population growth, uh, emissions, cost for future society, et cetera, et cetera. So this is what we have and somehow is very, is, is being used very well. And the IPCC relies as of today very heavily on the results from those uh, integrated assessment models. Uh, we can say that they are pretty good, let's say to explore the future, but only in the future, we're gonna be able to tell, let's say whether or not, let's say they were good enough to forecast uh, what's really gonna happen in the future. But again, this is, these are the best tools we have so far. And when we look back, because basically IAMs, the integrated assessment models have been used for 20 years or more. So somehow now we already have, let's say scenarios that were built 20 years ago, when today was the future. And they were pretty good at somehow, let's say, uh, anticipating what in reality we have achieved by 2022. 